just like the platypus has the unfused pelvis, can come right up around, scratch the middle of their back or the underside of their belly. <laughs> so I'll put him over near the door. And I'll let you see. Just how fast. Open facing knees and feet. Can get these animals to where they want to go. So even having a backward facing back end, they're in no way slow. A lot of people think they must be. <laughs> but it's normally the vibration that scares them. So we are their biggest predator on the roads. We do kill a lot on the roads each year, and it is simply through the vibration on the road they get scared. So they pull their beak in, their feet in, and put all their spines out. And when they do that, they don't move. So unless you have cars stopping and waving you around, you can't actually hit them. <laughs> so the tongues are very softly barbed. And what they use them for is, like I said, to go in and out of ants in the ground or in logs and in termite mounds on the mainland. And they can only bring a few ants back into that big long beak at a time. So that big long tongue and a few ants at a time and they just rub the tongue and the roof of their mouth together to process their food. And that is normally their only food source. Otherwise sometimes they can live off larvae or different other insects that are very small and can go into the mouth. But normally ants is a very sweet and sour tasting food. So you might often see them sometimes around salted areas because they don't get their salt intake in their diet. And that is what they will on a lot of children come summer, come and lick all the salt off 